from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello to you. I'm Vanessa Ariza. Mostly sunny today with some scattered storms later on. Greg D's full forecast is on ABCActionNews.com and our free mobile app. Now here are your ABC Action News headlines. Hillsborough County deputies are searching for the driver who hit and killed a pedestrian yesterday morning. Deputies say it happened northbound on Morse Bridge Road near Tampa Oaks Boulevard in Temple Terrace. The investigation shows the pedestrian may have been hit a second time by a gray or silver vehicle. If you know anything that can help deputies, you're asked to call the sheriff's office. The head tennis coach at Palm Beach Atlantic University is now unemployed. That is after he was arrested earlier this month in Pasco County. Court records show Carlos Cardona was arrested for felony charges of sexual battery and burglary with simple battery. The sheriff's report says Cardona entered a woman's home through an unlocked back door and sexually assaulted her. County jail records show he spent 12 days in jail before being released on $200,000 bond. The chief medical officer of Planned Parenthood, who oversees locations in the Bay Area, says the overruling of Roe v. Wade is leaving their patients concerned about the future. Dr. Robin Schickler says Planned Parenthood is against the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. A Florida judge is now considering whether to put a new state abortion law on hold before its effective date on Friday. Dr. Schickler says if the law goes into effect, patients may have to seek abortions in other states. Under the new law, the only exceptions for abortions past 15 weeks would be if the procedure could save the mother's life or if the fetus has a fatal abnormality. The judge says he expects to make a ruling on a 15-week abortion ban on Thursday, but warns a written order may not be issued until 24 hours later. It appears plans are changing for the Brightline High Speed Rail to Tampa. Right now, it no longer will take you directly to Disney World. As first reported by the Orlando Business Journal, Disney reps say a new route for the Brightline train no longer supports a stop to Disney Springs. The plan is now for the train to travel directly from International Drive in Orlando to Tampa. The train currently has stops in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm Beach, and it plans to open its Orlando stop soon. Remember, local news is streaming free for you 24 hours a day on ABC Action News Plus. You can find it on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Just search ABC Action News.